Hey guys, so I made it up here again to the top of Mount Wilson. This time I came up the Mount Wilson toll road. This time I'm riding my Escar Hey Duke, not my gravel bike. So I came up uh, pretty much all trail because it starts on Pinecrest Drive right there below Henniger. You, you pass by Henniger, um, Henniger Flats, which is like a, a fire station, little ranger station type place. Then after you pass that, you just keep on going. Many people go up to Henniger and I've been going up there years and years. It's, it's a grueling climb, but it's a short climb. And there's a lot of picnic areas and it's a nice little lookout point to go to. So I'm gonna show you this lookout point right over here before I go ahead and descend. So today was not one of my best days riding because it was, uh, it was, uh, I had a flat and it was pretty grueling as far as the, the heat, it's hot outside, the heat and um, having that flat and you're pretty exposed on this side. The other side when I came up from Cheney, that's not as exposed. So here's the view. There's some trails down here, but I don't ride down these trails. This is a trail, it's more for hikers, and they actually do tours up here. So let me give you a perspective of what it looks like down the mountain. It's beautiful. So it's hot today. It, we're having some uh, heat wave right here in California. I did start early at 7.30. I should have started at six, but um, my brother's there, and plus I'm making excuses. It was my fault. I just didn't get out the door fast enough. But I did my cold plunge this morning. As you guys know, I've been talking about that. I'm going to show that to you in an upcoming video. So I'm going to make a little bit of a video right here as I start the descent. And then I'm going to pick it up and do a couple slices of video as I go down. I'm not going to go down the other side, which I'll do that my next time I come up here. Because I already got a flat and and had to take out my cush core. So I don't have any spare tube or anything like that. So I don't want to take that chance of um, going on the single track and getting it flat and not having another tube. I should have brought two tubes and some and a bottle of sealant. And I'm going to talk about something. I'm going to show it to you guys later. But I um, started putting silicone around my valve stem and I talked about it on one of my other videos and it works great and today when I was coming up I've been I had already rode this bike the other day and then today when I was coming up it leaked around the valve stem so I don't get it so I'm just going to go ahead and start to doing that as a regular thing and figure out a best way to the best way to apply it you know do I put it there and let it get tacky or dry first um, or do I put it on wet so I'm going to figure that out but it's it just it's pretty annoying when you're on a long climb like this and the only place your tire is leaking is around that valve stem because that stupid valve stem hole um, got bored out when you put your pump on there and you kind of move it around a little bit with with your pump attached so I'm not going to deal with that shit anymore. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, be uh, using silicone, and just from the from the get go, the tape just doesn't last. So here we go, and this is this is what's crazy. It's like this, and I didn't do any video on the way up, but you're going to see this first part. It's like this all the way up. It's a steep grade. Oh, I should look at my altitude. Let's say, take a look at my altitude before I descend too much. And what was my altitude gain? I haven't even looked. Okay. So I'm at 53,000 feet, 5,300 feet, 5,319 feet, 5,317 feet. What was my total ascent? Oh, uh, I think there should be seen here somewhere. 
Okay, my ascent was 4,768 feet. So, because I, I'm not at zero. I live in Pasadena, and I think my house is at like around a thousand feet, something like that. So um, I don't have to not a thousand, maybe maybe 500. I don't know. I have to look again. So, um, and then I ride the streets for my house to the beginning of the trail because my intention was to go down the San Merrill Trail and then Sunset and then if I had it in me I would go ahead and ride El Prieto but with a flat and with the extra exhaustion I went through walking up a lot, a lot of part of this I had to walk a lot today you guys I'm going to admit that and that was because it's just grueling and, I, and it's hot it's about 20 degrees hotter than when I climbed this three weeks ago. And then I was climbing three weeks ago on my gravel bike. So there's a big difference when you're on your gravel bike. I'm gonna take it easy and not go too fast downhill because I don't wanna take a chance of getting a flat and deal with walking at home. And I'd rather go slow and not get a flat and just enjoy the scenery. So, Anyway, I want to give a shout out to the girls at Cosmic Cafe. Diana remembered me, and I can't remember the other girl's name, but um, they're very nice. They make an, a huge sandwich. So I don't know if mine is extra big or whatever, but I think they make them like that for everybody. But I go up there, get a turkey sandwich, and I get and, I, and you get the lunch special or whatever. It comes with a side of cookies or or chips, I get the cookies, and then um, a drink, whatever canned soda drink you want. I get a root beer, so that's what I like to do. Oh my god, it's going to be so nice going down. This is the thing, you ride up here and you hate life. It sucks. It's grueling and you're grinding it up as hard as you can, as long as you can, all the way down. And then next, is, but when you get all the way to the top, you get to go to that cafe, you get to have your lunch. And then, on the, you are not gonna hardly pedal at all. And if you do, it's only momentarily to get around a corner or something like that. But it's like this the whole way. You can descend the whole way with, it's, it's such a steep climb and such a steep grade that it's basically, just wearing out your brake pads on the way down. <laughs> a lot of guys um, used to downhill this and get their times with downhill bikes. And I saw one, I think it was a girl actually, who was downhill this morning. So I'll try to, I'll do some video on some of the more technical parts so you guys get an idea of that. But this is pretty boring. I just wanted you to see how it looked at the top and then I'll do another video later on and show you different sections, okay? But, but thanks for watching and get out and ride your bike. If it's hot, just get out and ride your bike earlier in the morning. That's all you need to do, okay? And I uh, appreciate you guys watching and subscribing. And I, any comments, just leave them below. I usually follow up on 100% of my comments because I don't get that many and it's not a big deal okay so thanks for watching and i will talk to you guys pretty soon